Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the USCAA National Championships. We are here with Penn State's Wilkes Bear yes, sir, versus Ray. Southern Main Community College. I'm here now, Brian Beecham, coasting with my man. Manny, how you doing? Doing well, man. Doing well. Talking hey. hoops on this fine Sunday. I don't absolutely. know where I'd rather be right now. Hey, absolutely, man. We're here for an interesting matchup. This is our 10-7 matchup. Penn State Wilkes Bear, the defending champions. Getting to it. Ooh. And Southern Maine coming out the gate, letting Hot. you know what they're about. <laughs> Ball's going to quit. For Penn State Wilkes Bear, the defending champions, the 10 seed versus Southern Maine, the 7 seed. So I'm excited for this matchup. I'm excited as well. I want to see what Jason, uh, Jalen Willis, I'm sorry, is going to do from Penn State Wilkes Bear. He's um, All American second team. So I'm excited to see what he's going to come out with today. Absolutely. Luke, Luke Briggs misses that first three point shot, but they're going to get another opportunity here. Box set on the baseline. Dribble handoff action. A little flex cut. Now we're working on the block. Oh, great defense. Oh, good oh. step through. Just couldn't finish it at the rim. Oh, oh. tough finish it. And now Penn State was set up. Southern Maine starting out man to man. Not a lot of hard ball pressure, just staying solid, fighting over top of screen. Ball movement, player movement right now. Looks like they're trying to get it down low. They do. About seven seconds on the shot clock. We got a D3. Bang. Nothing but Nylon. For Rashad Ballard starting the game off hot. A little ball pressure here from Penn State. Southern Maine handles it well, though. And now they set up their offense. Once again, a lot of ball player movement here. Oh, oh come that ball pressure now. Travel. Oh, fade on him. Ugh, just a little short. Short. Oh, they're pushing the break again. Thomas. Marinati and oh, strong fake him. and not out of bounds they got it good contest I would like a jump stop on that what? absolutely so kind of out of control use your body get into his chest finish through contact Look, a little driving kick opportunities here Luke Briggs now up top another three just a little long to the left Southern Maine's letting it fly they're early not though. shy at all I'll give you that they're not shy to let that one go but looking to find a rhythm right now that they have not found and we're only two minutes into the game. Let it happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Penn State setting up their offense again. Rashad Ballard's already hit one D3. Ball screen action here. Turn the corner. Pull up. pull up. Ooh. Just a little. Just a little strong. I like the aggression, though. I do as well. Southern Maine pushing in transition. Number 13, he is letting it go. He is fly. letting it go. Thomas. He has no Martinati. hesitation. I like the lefty. Oh, good kick. Chase Marble oh, resetting the offense up. We're going to get a double drag. Nope. Looks like just single ball screen here. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough move. Couldn't oh, finish offensive rebound. Shaw Ballard with another three from the same spot. Ooh. Just a little off. Early in the game, but both teams are not shy with the jump shot right now. They're Absolutely. definitely letting it go. Well, it's been good defense on both sides. It Nobody's has. really been able to get to the basket yet, for real. And I was just about to say that oh, like a little bit more body dribble body. penetration. A little contact here. And number four with the pull-up. Couldn't get it to go down. That was Kamen Warburton. And now Penn State was set up again. Anton Berger. Or Berger, I apologize. Once again. Oh, man, wide, wide open. Anton. Got to knock it down. Mm. Just a little off. Right now, nobody's making shots. The lid on the rim on both ends, um, and they're getting great looks. Absolutely. They just have to drop. Came in Warburton setting up the offense now. Back out to Thomas Marinati. Randy Vasquez now looking for the high-low opportunity. Dribble handoff. Good kick. Good Shooter kick. to the corner. Just off again. Off again. Shot by Adam Savage. Shaw Ballard setting up the offense now. Going right to the ball screen action. Good pocket pass. Good ah, pocket pass. Just couldn't get there. Little long. All right, so far, first impressions of both teams. Um, Ball movement great. Player movement great. They're both generating great looks. Just can't knock them down. Absolutely. You can tell Penn State Wilkes-Barre definitely wants to get downhill just a little bit more. That's Southern true. Maine, they look comfortable taking the shots they're taking, so I'm not going to tell do. them not to. Like I said, definitely just need to start seeing the ball go through the basket a little bit more. That's it. Oh, might have got away with the travel right there. Definitely did. I 
Nice air ball. It's moving a little well. Vasquez on the block. Nice little Ooh. dump in. It's a good pass. It's a good block attempt party. to finish, but a block. And now to the basket. Whoa. A lot of contact going on down there. Jump ball. Jump ball call. Wow. They're letting them play on this side of the floor, ladies and gentlemen. And Wovens from um, Penn State Wilkes-Barre. I feel like if he just jump stops under control, he would get cleaner looks at the basket. But right now he's trying to one-two finish, yeah. getting the shot blocked a lot. Like I said, definitely trying to get down here, maybe explode a little bit more. Just hasn't been able to get through as clean as he would like. Mm -hmm. But definitely, like I said, jump stop, two feet under control. Use that body, be strong. Yes, sir. Oh, oh man, turnover. Pass. Turnover. And came in Warburton attacking the glass. Uphill, Euro Ooh. step to the basket, and he's going to get the foul. So far, like I said, we're five minutes into this game, five and it's three to two. If you're in 80s or 90s, baby, you <laughs> love this basketball. That's this all is your I'm brand of basketball. You know, wide open jump shots missed, <laughs> hard defense at the rim. This yep. is your basketball, baby. Three to zero. This looks like a football game right now. And Cayman Warburton at the line, up with the first, and short. just short. Second shot is up, and it's good. One for two at the line for Cayman Warburg. Looks like Southern Maine's in the... Is that it's a 2-3 or 1-3-1? One, one? It's hard to tell. Oh, oh, definitely got away with a travel on the baseline. And you're not rewarded. The basketball god <laughs> said, nah. Here we go, pushing the transition now. Warburton out to Thomas Morinati. Letting it Ooh. fly again, just couldn't get it Blank. to go. Now, I will say, and this is what, and Manny, you're a coach as well, so you definitely understand this feeling. The one thing you watch when you watch a shooter sometimes is how the bench and the opposite coaches react to it. Because if they are not saying anything to that man, oh, they you know, know that's good the shooter. For it. They know he's good for it. He might be off now, but he can go off at any minute. And Warburton trying to turn the corner through the contact, couldn't get it. And my point is, Thomas Morinati has shot up four shots. No one Three has of said them have anything. been tough ones, and <laughs> nobody said a word. So I'm going to say this guy's going to get hot at some point, or at, at least some, the team believes at he will. At some point, but as a shooter as well, when you're missing two, three, four in a row, you got to see some easy ones go down, get to the rim a little bit more, maybe try to get a free throw. And ball's baseline side, inbounded. Shots up from the corner just off, and can't tell what the call is from here. And Jalen Willis, the All-American for Penn State. Wilkes Bear is checking into the game. Along with Jay Hawks for Southern Maine, number 11. Jalen Willis directing traffic coming in. And immediately attacks downhill. Tries to finish. Maybe could have just gone up with the right hand there. But good yeah. rebound, kick out to number 13, Jedediah Ashton, who's also just checked in for his first minutes. Thomas Morinati now being checked by Jalen Willis, full court. Taking the pressure, doing a good job, good kick. And the question is going to be, can ooh, ooh, strong drop. Good move, good spin, couldn't finish. Jalen Willis attacking downhill, going through contact. It's a physical game, ain't it, Brian? Looks like it so far. I will say it does look like the athleticism, the speed of Wilkes Bear is definitely bothering Southern Maine you can just tell. a little bit. You can Timing is just off. Like I said, the question is how quickly can they adjust to it? Wilkes Bear, a little sideline action here. Or baseline, I apologize. Oh, pull up. And he just a little long by Tequan Holly. Mark, Mark Tati bring it up court, out. Savage with another pull up three. Just no a little long. That's about the fourth missed three from this uh, Southern Maine right now. Might be more than that. I mean, yeah, like you said, we're both, right now. we're both coaches. What would be the adjustment at this at this point of the game? Well, the question is like, what's your identity? If this is your identity as a team and this is what you do, Live it's and die by it, yeah. You got to live and die by it. This is what got us here. Like I said, we've generated good looks, so it's not like we're taking horrible shots. Hey, guys, you got to make shots. It's that simple. Missing yep. a game. 
That is a fact. I will say, like I said, I would love to see something downhill every now and then. Like I said, see if we can at least take the lid off the basket at the rim. Something like that. Ooh, and no good. It doesn't get no easier finish. than that. Lindsey Vasquez with an open right hand layup. Does not get any made. easier than that. As a coach, you can talk about me all you want to. I can't make him make that shot. That's a fact. Good kick. Jedediah Ashton attacking on the drive in the mid post. And Jedediah. That spot in the paint I'm giving to Jedediah all day. That's There's no one that's going to be able to contest that um, over at Southern Maine. That's fair. That's fair. Southern Maine looking to attack that little Zags pick and roll game. Vasquez attacking. Kick back out to Jay. Thomas looking to Savage. They cannot get downhill for anything right now. Everything nope. is outside the paint. And Thomas now finally gets a good look. Could knock Could it down. Could not knock it down. Again. Looked perfectly on line, too. Jalen Willis, good bounce pass ahead. Definitely got a Crazy fade, foul but he gets a that. foul. Frustration starting to kick in with Southern Maine right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And once again, rightfully so. Let's say you've had a lot of good shots that haven't gone down. Question is, can you maintain your composure? Can you continue to play your game and knock down shots? That's a fact. It's 7-1. Seven to one. That's seven the funny to part. One. For as frustrating as you feel, for as angry as you feel, you are only down six points. <laughs> Crazy. Still in the game. Seven points. <laughs> Ooh. Great shot, though. And free throw. If I'm a coach and I call a timeout, I'm letting them know, hey, we're 10 minutes in the game. We're down seven points. We only have one point. We're still in the game. As frustrated as we are, we're still here, fellas. Absolutely. And two for two from the line for Tequan Holland. Flores are back in the game. Looks like in their full court man press right now. Yeah, they're definitely trying to speed Southern Maine up a little bit. They haven't been able to generate a lot of good offensive possessions. Like I said, created good looks, just haven't felt like great possessions. Once again, going back to that speed of Wilkes Bear, definitely has them off kilter just a little bit. Good kick out, Hawks now. Ooh, Once no again, run for Jay. Not a great shot at all. Now Wilkes Bear once again got them on their heels. Ballard Shot drive driving kick. kick. Willis the All American for three, just off. Great box out. Got to hold on to it though. Mm, almost got away with it. Jayhawks a 27% shooter from three on the season. So like I said, I'm not gonna say that's the normal for him, but sometimes you might just want to think about doing something a little different. Like I said, from your All-American, if he's comfortable taking that shot, gotta got to let him. And he was wide open, so I'm not mad at that one. And drive a kick out just off the rim again by Luke Briggs. <laughs> Willis again, tacking down downhill, gets to the rim. Oh, just off good. the front of the rim, though. Briggs has it now. Kicks it out. Number 22, Charlie Hawkins oh, checking to the, the game. the moves on him then. Oh, good pivot. No, oh. and they got to get him for the travel. Give him a visa, give him luggage. He is traveling. <laughs> Looks like, yup. Southern Maine is back into a 1-3-1. One, one. Got a lot of good length out there. Going to see if they can just... Make Wilkes Bear take some tough shots. Maybe call the turnover or two. Get yep. some easy ones. In moments like this, that's all you can really tell your team when it's lit on the rim. Let our defense lead to, um, to offense. Absolutely. Shot open in the corner. He lets it go. Another three. Just short. And that's what you're banking on if you're Southern Maine. Now, Jay Hawks all the oh, way down trapped. lane. Gets trapped and is going to get the foul call. Ran into a sea of blue jerseys. Yeah, he tried to outrun him, and he realized he couldn't. <laughs> Going to be baseline out of bounds. As we have some substitutions. Ooh, nice little play. Charlie Harden operating. Kicked out the Hawks. 
They're moving the ball well, but once they again, are. they just aren't generating anything. They haven't been able to. Oh, good, good step, step through. through by Luke Riggs. Once again, you can tell Southern Maine is very fundamental, very wants to run their offense. The problem is you're playing a team that's a lot more athletic, a lot more speed. It just throws your rhythm and timing off just enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, wide open. Got to knock it down. Berger couldn't make it. Great rebound by number two, Elijah Perez, who's just checked into the game. Willis now will get his opportunity. All-American oh. from three. Got a rebound. Charlie Halton. Out to Thomas. Martin Tiny. Up ahead. Luke Briggs attacking again. And he's going to get the foul. And I think that's what they need to do right now. Instead of relying on a jump shot that they're not hitting right now, just continue to try to get to the basket. So when you're a team that has less athleticism, less speed, the idea is to understand you're not going to actually win the battle off the dribble. Mm -hmm. It's dry kick, attack on the catch, exactly. attack the closeouts. But in order to attack on closeouts, you got to make some shots too. Yeah, that's a fact. So it's that's this real catch-22 that you'll find yourself in here. Little dribble handoff action. Luke Briggs now attacking off the catch again. Gets down. And one. And that's a good finish. Luke Briggs. Luke Briggs, the leading scorer for this team at 12 points a game, showing their balance. But he has said, hey, guys, we're going to get going here at some point. Back in that 1-3-1. One, one. Yep, causing a lot of problems here. As Penn State kind of takes their time. He drives into the oh. gap. Good pass. And they're going to get the foul. Like I said, if you can find a way to give it to Jedediah in the middle of the paint every time, I think good things will happen over there for Penn State Wilkes Bear. Well, I'm curious what Southern Maine is going to do here on this dead ball situation. You don't see a lot of teams one through one on the baseline, so are they going to two three it, man it? They might back? match up and yeah. then go back into one through one. We'll find out. Man it. Oh nope. They're, yep, like so you said, they're back to man. Jedediah to the block. Jalen Willis to the top. And now they're looking for offense. Jalen Willis said, "I'm going to oh. do it myself," but he couldn't. But he got it back. The issue, and, and he gets the bucket. Sometimes it's just, I'm going to get it done. Mm -hmm. Put your head down and get it done, young man. Adam Savage now bringing the ball up. One thing I do like about Southern Maine is you've literally seen four or five different people bring the ball up the court. Very versatile team. Like I said, you can tell they're taking their time. Good kick out. Jay Hawks now attacking on the baseline. Tries to get through, and he Ooh. does. Big time shot. So it seems like they have made the adjustment now. They're saying, hey, the shot's not falling. We're just going to put our head down and just get to the rim. And it's working in their favor. Absolutely. Kick out Willis again. Good oh, pass on the look. baseline. What a look. And good finish by Williams. That is a dime. Williams. 13 sevens. A lot of time left in this ball game. 8.50 on the clock. 19 on the shot clock. Oh, man. Seeing a lot of split post action. Oh, step, another step not, through. Oh. And ref calls the walk. What do you think about that one? I don't. He's paid the ref. I'm paid to commentate. <laughs> I did not see the travel. But, hey, the ref made the call. You got to live with it. And that's one of my favorite refs over there, Kelvin Oliver. Hey, man, he's Season a good ref. dude. Good dude. He Been indeed. doing this a long time. But even the best make mistakes. <laughs> I trust his judgment. Absolutely. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Penn State Wilkes Bear now bring the ball up. Jalen Wills controlling the offense. Taking the time. Swinging it back and forth, reversing the ball. That one through one still in effect here. Pass up open jumper. Jedediah, Jedediah in the Jedediah middle. Top. I love that He's shot for Jedediah. I'm He's telling you, I'm giving it to him there every single time if I have the chance. Julius Silva now checked into the game. Luke Briggs looking, being aggressive. Dribble handoff. To Jay Hawks. Adam Savage. Ooh. Oh, couldn't handle the pass. Maintain control. Uh oh, getting downhill. What you gonna do with it, big fella? Oh, Savage. Oh. Too much English. No rim. Maybe just left hand finish. Left Keep hand finish simple. for sure. Jedediah. Jedediah and, and one. Oh. 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 That's an and one, sir. Don't know what the call is gonna be here. We're waiting. <laughs> it's not on the floor. And they're going to oh. say it's on the floor, on the on pass. The interesting call. Very interesting I call. I could see it, though, because the foul did happen as soon as he caught the ball. At that point, if you're blowing the whistle. So when would you dictate it's a shooting foul? He was in the middle of his gather trying to go up in the shooting motion, at least from what I saw. I said I could see it both ways. <laughs> 
I didn't say he was right. 50 <laughs> 50 calls early in this game. If I had the option, I would use my um, coaching challenge. <laughs> Penn State works there with a nice little box set, trying to get across to Jedediah. Jedediah doing what he, he wants in the middle of the working. paint. That paint is his. He is working down there. High post, low post, doesn't matter. He gets it. It's a bucket. Really a mismatch problem right now for Southern Maine. Absolutely. Back down low to Vasquez. Once again, a little split post action. Vasquez looking to work. Trying to get down low and couldn't finish, but I like the aggression. You can see ball touches paint high post for Southern Maine. You got cutters going in every direction. Yep, yep. Like I said, they're looking to get guys open. But sometimes when that's not there, you got to be able to do it yourself. That's a fact. That's a fact. But I think what you're seeing now um, in the second half of this first half, if that makes sense. It makes sense. It sounded weird, but it makes <laughs> yeah, sense. Uh, what you're seeing now is they're trying to generate more paint touches on both sides. And it's leading, uh, it's leading to easier buckets and free throws for um, both, both teams. Absolutely. And just off of the free throw. And Vasquez up with the next one. And that one's nothing but net. 8-17 right now. Nine-point game with plenty of time left for Southern Maine. Mm -hmm. Willis now attacking. Floater game. Trots to the rim. What That's a floater. That's too easy if you're Southern, man. You can't you let have to stop right ball. Got to stay in front of the ball. Thomas Marantani brings the ball to the floor. Hasn't gotten himself going yet, but has had a couple good looks. Came in Warburton now, setting up the offense. Dribble high ball screen. Oh, a lot of ball Went pressure. Went for the blitz. Most right now. And oh. Tough call. Oh. You can see... You can see Wilkes Bear is being very aggressive very, on the ball. Very. They're blitzing ball screens, trying to do whatever they can to speed Southern Maine up. They are. Southern Maine is doing their best, though, while maintaining their possession and not turning the ball over. Absolutely. Like I said, not a lot of turnovers created, but like I said, it's the idea of just speeding them up enough where it's mm -hmm. throwing the shots off. And so far, that has been effective. We're going to get another call here, or is it just the clock not running? Ran into this problem earlier. Said it seems to be a couple clock malfunctions that seem to be happening at the scores mm -hmm. table. Nobody's fault, just bad faulty equipment. <laughs> Side out of bounds here. Warburton now setting up the offense. And now Thomas looking Swing. out to Warburton. Warburton has to get it up. He does, and it's going to be way short. It's going to be a shot clock violation. One thing I will take notice of, with all the action Southern Maine is running, one thing a they're lot. not doing a good job of is setting good screens. That's they're not true. making contact on a lot of these. They're letting guys run through. It's blowing up their actions. Mm -hmm. If you want to create mismatches, you want to create open shots, you've got to start setting good screens. 1,000%. Yeah, they're slipping these screens early, not actually making contact, and no one's getting open because of it. Absolutely. Wilkes Bear now. And looks like Southern Maine's going back to man to man. Good ball, man. Looks like trying to get it down low. Chase Monroe been working on the block. Good pass. Great block. Great block. By oh. Adam Savage. It's going to be out of out bounds. This is a very big lineup for Penn State Wilkes Bear. We're going to see okay. if this is going to be an advantage or a disadvantage for them. Uh, yeah, so the far, it's half. worked in their favor. They've dominated the points in the paint. They dominated around the rim. Mm -hmm. Like I said, so hey, don't fix what ain't broke. I know that's right. Looks like refs are discussing shot clock. Five seconds left. Oh, 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 oh he couldn't oh, handle the pass. Just handled the pass. Back down low to Vasquez. We're going to see a couple more actions. That was a good screen set. Vasquez working on the block. Can't handle it, though. Lost it. Got it back. Thomas jabs. Jabs again. He's looking. Good skip. Savage. He's thinking Ooh, about it. And he back. lets it go. And just short again. And I don't know what it is. Today, there's been a lid on the basket. First game we saw earlier today. A lot of tough misses. Willis now getting downhill. Oh. And I'm not going to call the foul because it seems like he threw himself a little bit. But... 
We now have a 21-8 game with a timeout by Southern Maine. And with that timeout, that will give us a chance to bring you a word from one of our sponsors, USCA Social Media. If you follow the USCA, USCAA on social media for the most up-to-date happenings during the tournament, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Use the official tournament hashtag USCAA Nationals 24 to see what others are posting. Good. Back to play. We're going to see if the Seawolves can make a run back in this game. There's Warburton attacking on the catch. Double clutched it. Maybe should have just went straight up. And once again, the athleticism of Wilkes Bear. And I think bothered. that's what it is. It's the size and athleticism. Oh, really great oh almost Ooh. had it. Oh, man. Couldn't get. Oh, great pass. Wilkins with the finish. And now. Southern Maine is definitely getting into dangerous territory here. They have not been able to generate a good look in a while now. Thomas open, but he's hesitating to shoot jump shots now. He's missed his last four threes. That's a good take, though, though, with the left. Your Southern Maine, you just got to think. Stay in it, stay in it, stay in it until we get what we want. And that's a run, and we're going to knock down shots at some point. At some point. Pick and Ballard work. turning the corner. You can oh. see the speed difference. It's very evident here. It's evident for sure. Luke Briggs now. Leading score. Taking his time. Tries to turn the corner. Kick out the Vasquez. War burden. Swing, swing. Good ball moving right now. And Vasquez gets it down low. Gets it down low. Oh, no call. No call. And he's still and operating. jump ball. Uh, and let's say they're going to call the foul on the floor. Yeah, foul on number four, Rashad Ballard. I thought that was a jump ball, but. Definitely looked like it from here, but, you know, we don't have the best angle, so. I mean, like you said. I'm not going to say. Our job is to commentate. Their job is to ref, so. A little side ball screen action. Up top. Where are they going to go? Looking. Exit screen. Briggs. Ah. It's out of bounds. Travel. Oh, travel. That's how I called him for the travel. Now, understand, this is not your typical 10-7 matchup. While Southern Maine is the 7th seed, Wilkes-Barre are the defending champions who, for coming into the season, I believe, with the preseason number one. Really? So, like I said, it kind of lets you know maybe they've had a rough season, but they are still more than capable of playing at a high level. This is championship pedigree here. Oh, and they are Ballard showing it. Hanging in there. And once again... Southern Maine getting into dangerous territory. 17-point game with three minutes left. And oh, turnover. Pass. Not the turnover you want right now. Frustration is setting in. Oh, oh great block by Savage. Nobody there for the cleanup, though. What a block. Man, that was a great block by Savage. Savage said it's a block party and you're invited. Right. He's upset because nobody else got back for him. And you can see Southern Maine's frustration just kind of boiling over a little bit here. Just a little bit. Like I said, they know what the problem is. They know they need to play better. They know they need to stay engaged. But when you're in a route like this, you just, or a rut like this, you just need to stay composed, play your game. But that's always easier said than done. That's a fact.
Matt Richards gave him an inspiring um, speech during the timeout. We'll see if it uh, helps Southern Maine make a run coming out of this timeout. Uh, inspiring is definitely a word you can use. Like I said, we're here, we're here with 3 minutes, 24 seconds left in the first half. Southern Maine down 19 points, but still plenty of time left in the game. You just got to get yourself going at some point. At some point. Question is, can they withstand the pressure? Can they withstand the athleticism of Wilkes-Barre? Wilkes-Barre, you can tell. They smell blood in the water. They may be going for the knockout punch. They could. Ball screen. Thomas looking. Kicked out. Jayhawks looking. Oh, ah, you can't be careless with basketball. Turnover. Like and great oh, pass. Man. Beating them they down the floor. Chase Monroe running the floor hard. Love to see that from a big man. Somebody from Southern Maine just has to get going. And tough shot by Adam Savage. Just this got pressure blocked. is taking a toll on Southern Maine right now. It's all mental for them right now, though. That's really the thing, at least in terms of the shooting aspect. Mm, and and Jalen Willis starting to feel it. Like I say, <laughs> it's Jaylen all Willis. mental right now for Southern Maine. Like, you can tell they are literally just sped up in their own heads. Yep. Trying to figure out how to attack this team. They're hesitating on certain oh. things. Great pass, though. Great pass. Hawks, they need it. Needed That's that a shot. big shot right there. Finally got Wilkes Bay on the flare screen, mm -hmm. noticing they're being over aggressive in the passing lanes. Flare it, get your shot, feet ready, knock it down. And you can't hesitate at this stage in the game as well. If it's an open shot, I know you missed your last couple threes, but you got to continue to let it go. You can't think twice about it. Well, once again, it all goes back to what's your identity. If this is what got you here, you have to believe in it. Amen to that. Comes off the ball screen. Ooh. Violet looking Mon mm, with a tough midi at the free throw line. Monroe. Chase Monroe off the pick and pop. Like I said, big man's coming to the game off the bench. He's been working hard, ran the floor hard, posted up hard, done a lot. Oh, Hawks hey. now attacking. Oh, no call. No call. Interesting. Ballard now. Looks like he lost the handle. Hard to see it from here. I don't know if it was a foul or he was just out of control. Yeah, couldn't really tell. And the frustration for the Seawolves is definitely there. And it's rising. And the frustration yeah, yeah. is rising here. It's only going to rise with the scoreboard. <laughs> <laughs> and looks like all five players for the Seawolves have been subbed out. Oh, wow. They've gone completely to the bench. In an effort, Matt Richards is saying, hey, I just want guys who are going to bring effort and energy right now. As a coach, I've made a sub like that as well. It's just, if the well, starters made, aren't going to play inspired. I've made a sub like that. I'm in the 30 into the game. I'm not even going to lie to you. Exactly. So I didn't drive all the way here to watch this. And Ballard turns the corner, driving kick opportunity. Willis gets it under control. Ball screen. Taking their time now. Tough pass. Willis with the pull up. Ooh. And air ball. Shot clock violation, right? I guess it got it off in time, and it hit the rim. Did it hit the rim? It did hit the rim. Oh, oh my. My apologies. It didn't look like it from here. A little cross screen action. Great oh, move. Oh, take. Oh, he calls a trap. Oh, interesting call on Tequan Harley. I looked on that uh, gather step. He calls the travel. Number 10, Julius Sylvia handling the offense now. Once again, Southern Maine taking their time, running their offense, trying to generate some looks. Something. Oh. Another three. And oh, there it top. goes Took in. Not down. Andrew St. Hilaire. Oh, not a good ball pressure. Down. And the energy picking up for Southern Maine a little bit. But oh. size and the paint has just been open to Penn They're State all day. They're getting the paint whenever they want. And it's going to be the last possession here for Southern Maine, most likely. Moving the ball, taking their time. Comes off the screen. I like it, though. Ah, oh. just a little long, but good rebound. And he's going to get the foul call. Going into halftime from Southern Maine, that needs to be discussed. How can we keep Penn State Wilkes-Barre from touching our paint? Um, I think their plan was the 1-3-1 zone, and that didn't work effectively. So the question is, do you go back to the zone, or do you just... 
sag off man to man, play the gaps hard, invite the three-point shot. I mean, we talked about it early in the game, size, speed, strength, athleticism. Um, Wilkesbury has the advantage in those ends, so and going man to man is not going to be helpful. Missed free throw by Liam O'Neill. He's at the line. Tequan Holly picked up his second foul there, by the way. Something to keep an eye on. Team's leading rebounder. Okay. Going into the second half. Penn State Wilkesbury is going to have seven seconds here to work as Liam O'Neill knocks down the second free throw. It's a 20 point lead. Willis now getting a full head of steam. This is not what you want. Driving, Driving kick. kick Ballard just long. And that brings us to our second or our halftime intermission. And we'll bring you word from one of our sponsors. Baron Riggs is the official ring supplier of the USCAA and the USCAA Hall of Fame. As a championship ring-focused brand, their relentless commitment to design, craftsmanship, and superior story-driven products are what drive the Barrett experience to their high school, college, and pro market clients. To collaborate with one of their designs to create custom team rings or even an individual piece, visit their website at www.barronrings.com.
All right, we're back with the second half of our USCAA National Championships. We have Penn State Wilkes Bear with a 20 point lead over Southern Maine Community College. Southern Maine had a lot of frustration going into the halftime. Like I said, rightfully so, 20 point lead, definitely not what they were expecting coming into this game. Like I said, it's been a tough going from the start here. For sure. Manny, for sure. how are you feeling about this game so far? I mean, six from 29 from the field, two of nine from three pointed. I mean, it says it. They're just, there's a lid on the rim that they can't get off. And then the seven turnovers doesn't help either. So we'll see if they can come back. And Luke Briggs out the gate, starts with a three, just couldn't go down. But good set ran. And they're going to get another opportunity at it. Four low set here. See what we get. Pop. Trying to get the duck in, not there. And, and five, five seconds, seconds, another turnover. That's just another example of the athleticism and length of Wilkes Bear just throwing the timing off on everything. A lot of pressure. Here comes Penn State Wilkes Bear. Interesting choice by Wilkes Bear. The All American Jalen Willis has not started either half. He definitely came off the bench and came off the bench in the first half and made his impact, though. Wilbins driving kick. Monroe, the big man, with the Knock jump down. shot. He likes that little jump shot around the elbows. Absolutely. He's been playing very well this game. There comes Thomas. Pushing the pace. Morinati. Looking for Vasquez on the block. Savage now. Good flare action. Thomas with there the There we three. go. Knockdown. That's a big time shot there. I know he was off in the first half, but it looks like he has a nice release. I'd like to see him get more aggressive this half. Absolutely. Like I said, he shot a couple early ones in the first half. Nothing went down. Then he kind of became good looks, more though. hesitant. Exactly. So, like I said, now, hey, you're down 19. Go ahead and empty, Let empty it the clip. Fly. Empty, empty the, the clip. clip. <laughs> Let it go. You are officially playing with house money. <laughs> shot battle with the ball. Yep. So looking. The offense looking. Little Swing. down screen, and we're going to get a legal screen. Okay. All right, now, a little momentum building here. All right. Got some stock. Southern Maine bench is starting to put some life into their team, giving them some Absolutely. energy right now. The bench is definitely a little bit more into it. Definitely. A big shot here can go a long way. A very long way. And Will Spare said, nah, we're going to go ahead and put this full court pressure on you. Thomas now handles the ball. Being guarded by Tequan Holly. Warburton now setting up the offense. Ball screen from Thomas. Good. Now notice what we said earlier in the mm -hmm. first half. Ball screens, ball screens, everything. Actually hitting somebody. Now they're setting them. They're setting them well. Now they're getting much better looks. Getting There's going to be a looks. foul call on Adam Savage. Holly with the rebound. But once again, these screens being set, mm -hmm. creating much better looks now. Just got to knock them down. Definitely. Tom Berger now will set up the offense. Looks like we got a little. One for a Yup. Iverson cut. Nothing there. A little. Okay. See, look like we're reverse trying to get down low to Monroe. Knowing he has the mismatch, but reverse, reverse cut. Hand off. Good ball movement right now. Absolutely. Berger taking his time. Playing off two feet. Gotta love it. Ballard now with four. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, what a move. Crossover. What a move. Have yourself a day. Oh. Mm, just couldn't finish. Once again, good defensive possession by Southern Maine, though. Defense leading the offense. They're pushing the ball now. Uh oh. Catch your rip. Good take. Oh, good and take. great block. Size matters. He said size matters, huh? Oh. Oh. Not a foul, though. I believe it. I did not see any contact made. Good pass. Monroe again. That time, they are going to get the foul call. Southern Maine playing with a lot more life in this half so far. Definitely, definitely. Playing a lot more inspired basketball right now. Now the question you ask as a coach is, can you maintain it? Because now you're fighting an uphill battle for the rest of this game. Can you maintain this energy level? Can you maintain this effort? I mean, you don't have a choice. It's the hole you dug yourself, so they're going to have to sustain this for the rest of this half. They want a chance of coming back and actually ah, winning this game. And missing the first free throw, Warburton. Once again, those hurt a lot more when you look at the scoreboard. No, that's right. And if I'm Penn State Wilkes-Barre, in my head, I'm thinking, when are we going to put our All-American back in the game, Jalen Willis? He makes the second. Back to an 18-point game. Riggs guard man-to-man. 
Iverson Back in the cut once Hawk. again. Wilbins looking. A little cross screen action. Tequan Holly stuck. Wilbins now, he's got position. Can he get it? And that's just tough basketball right there. Good patience by Wilkes Bear. Once again, that was good defense from Southern Maine. Just, hey. Not good enough. Offense. I think he just let him get two oh, people man, paint Warburg. position. Oh. Vasquez with the jumper just in and out. And oh. over the back. Over the back foul. Aggressive, yes. Just a little too much. In the possession before, like I was saying, um, it was good defense um, at the end, but he was already in position, already too close to the basket, kind of too late. Absolutely. Like I said, anytime you're facing an opponent that's a little bit bigger, you got to make sure you do your work early, mm -hmm. fight around, make him throw everything over the top. That's right. Do the best you can and live with the results. But you cannot let him face cut you and get a good position. See if they go right back to that same set. Doesn't look like it. Your man, Jedediah, is back into the game. Yes, sir. Driving kick name. Ballard trying to step through. Great pass. Wow. Another great moment. pass. Yo, they Beautiful. have had some very Beautiful. good interior passing. Here. They have. And lead is back to 22. Like I said, once again, somebody for Southern Maine is going to just have to empty the clip and say, you know what? I'm going down swinging. Who's it going to be? That's the question. Yeah, Warburton's trying. Vasquez fighting on the glass. Just couldn't get there. Wilbins pushing the break. Reverses to Ballard. Ballard. Ooh, crossover. Ah, Ooh. He's going to get a foul call. Trying to get a little mixy there. Absolutely. Ah. Berger with the ball. Not taking their time. Taking their time. No need to rush. Hey, now with this lead. Swing, swing. Berger wide patient. open. They're very patient. Looking to get the ball down low. You can tell they're not going to settle here. Good defense, though, by Southern Bay. Holding on. Man-to-man -man ball pressure full court now. Oh, uh -oh. wide open. Luke, Luke Briggs. That's a big shot. Splash. There it is. 19-point game again. Southern Maine best trying to give their team life. Down 19 against Penn State Wilkesbury. Swing, swing. Berger wide, wide open, open, not taking the three. You can almost sense a directive from Wilkesbury coach. Like, hey, we're not settling at all. They know what they want right now. And they said, we're going to take as much time as we need. We're going to be patient. And we're getting paint touches. Oh, but the turnover. Hey. Southern Maine, once again, pushing in transition. Jay Hawk. Jay. Back out to Savage. Savage. Savage attacking. Downhill. Loses ah, the dribble. Lost the handle. Good hustle, though. Oh, and I don't know about that call. I'll give it to Southern Maine, though. Um, they still have a life. They're not. They're going down swinging for sure. I might need to go to concession stand. And if you are here, please visit our concession stand outside. The food is amazing. Wilkes Bear now inbounding the ball. Once again, taking their time, wasting precious seconds off the clock. Oh, oh, got the turnover. Jayhawks trying oh. to fight through. And that's going to be a foul on Wilkes Bear. Number 15, Wilvins. Southern Maine is playing with so much more energy here. You can feel it. The question playing is with a lot more fight. can they just get hot for a stretch and just knock a stretch. down some shots? It's Two threes makes this feel completely different. It's a game of runs, man. Three stops and three buckets will make it a different game right now. But it needs to start now. Jalen Willis back in the game, finally checking in. Had a great first half. We're going to see if he can continue in the second. That's a nice little box set here. We're going to see what they run. Away screen on both sides, going to the corner. And going to get a little cross action into a double stagger. I like that. Just didn't hit it. Oh, Thomas oh, is wide open. Wide open. Miss him. Miss him. And Adam Savage lets it fly. 
Mm, not the shot you wanted. Ball needs to move a little bit quicker if you're Southern Maine. The shot pushing the break. Jalen Willis lost a dribble. Jalen Willis just said. Continuing off where he started. I'm that guy. <laughs> That's kind of the story of the game so far. Southern Maine not being able to knock down shots and Penn State being able to get to the basket whenever they want to. Got to keep the ball in front. Got to keep them out the paint. Willis knocks down the free throw, putting us back at a 22-point game. Charlie Houghton now bringing the ball up the court. Back to Thomas. Vasquez on the pop. Away screen. Swing, swing. Once again, guys had good screens here. Not seeing them. Oh. Briggs down. Nowhere to really go. Trying to turn the corner. Strong oh. move, though. Hey, I ain't going to lie. I do Great like move. the Briggs game, though. I do. Very patient inside. Patient. Strong. When he's open, he knocks it down. Turnover by Wilkes Bear here. Thomas. Swing. 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 Oh, oh, never mind. Halton's going to hold it. Swing it back. Here comes Briggs again. Not open, though. Briggs is moving, isn't he? Hey, got to find some way to get open. Vasquez now working on the block. Good step through. No oh, call. I'm not mad at it, though. Not at all. Oh, man. A lot of bodies flying here. And tough take. Tough take. Two more free throws. Anton Berger with a strong take. He's going to get two free throws. Southern Maine having a hard time right now stopping um, Penn State Wilkesbury in the fast break. No, absolutely. There's definitely a speed advantage there. It hurting. would help if Southern Maine could make some shots. Slow the game down, be able to set up your defense a little bit better in the half court. That's true. And Berger makes the second. Oh. Clearing it out. Thomas now working. Cross screen. Jay Hawks, nothing there. Looking for Charlie Houghton. Thomas. Thomas. I will say they've gotten these guys on a couple of these flare actions. Great oh. pull up by Thomas. Great pull up. Stopping on a dime. But I will say, they've gotten Wilkes Bear on a lot of these flare actions. They just they missed have. them. Like they haven't seen the shooters, I should say. Ah, miscommunication on the switch. They didn't get burned on it that time, though. Once again, very patient right now. No need to rush. Wasting every precious second they can. Driving kick. And Ballard from three. Splash, Ballard. Time shot. The patience, the timing here by Wilkes State, or Wilkes Bear, has been very, very impressive this second half. Oh. Briggs with the jab, looking now. Nowhere to go. Oh, That's bad pass. Foul. If you look, you have to see that. Not the best entry pass, but they still Not keep possession. All. So he was th he thought Vasquez was gonna slip a little bit earlier. I think he did. I think he did. Ah. Box set here again. Boom. Oh man, overthrown just a bit. Well, we in though. They're looking. He's coming first. Thomas this time. No way to really go. Briggs just lets it fly. Oh, nothing, nothing but nylon from Briggs. Splash out. And we're going to get a timeout on the play after that shot by Southern Maine.
<laughs> and we're back in the second half. 12 minutes, 27 seconds left. 19 point game. Luke Briggs just hit a big time three. And here we go again. Wilkes Bear pushing it up the floor. Southern Maine still man to man defense here. Adam Ballard controlling the tempo. Wilkes Bear has been very patient this half. Ooh. Hawks almost comes up with pass. Willis driving, using his body. He's going to turn it over. Once again, Southern Maine, much more energy, much more aggressiveness in this half. They For just sure. got to get some shots to go in to change how we feel about this. A couple more Luke Briggs threes can change the game. You can see Briggs is working very hard to get open. Catch and rip. Good take. Just not strong enough. But good hustle. Oh, good hustle. Harton oh, another couldn't block. Couldn't finish, but great block by Willis. And now Berger Berger. in transition. Good wall up, Ooh. and they're going to call the foul. Someone needs to stop ball in transition. That's the second time he's able to go coast to coast and get free throws. Berger generating easy offense from just pushing the ball coast to coast, no one stopping him. Get into the cup. Leading to two free throws now. Well, once again, it's easy to get out in transition when, like I said, offense isn't generating good looks. You're getting blocked shots, turnovers, mm -hmm. or just long misses. And Berger misses the first. Still a 19-point lead, 11.47 left in the game. And that one gets to the, the shooter's second. bounce. 51-31. Penn State. Luke on the wing. Taking Jabs. the time. Being patient. Good kick. Charlie Hart now driving on the baseline. Oh, got to go up with that one. Ben Mullet trying to go up. Nothing there. Kick out the Hawks. Hawks with the three. Hawks. Made one earlier. Mm. That one's just off. A great try by Hart and no call either. Willis now with the rebound handling it. Oh, good steal. Briggs now. Ooh, Ooh what the finish. With the play. And Briggs Luke said, Briggs. I'm here. Everybody else, just get on board, guys. We <laughs> can get it done. The question is, who's going to come along for the ride? Willis there taking their time. Looking to get the ball down low. Once again, kick out Willis with the ball at the top. Post game. Good dump ball. Jebediah. Attacking. Oh, no call. And no call. And, and one. And one. They are fighting down there, aren't they? Hey, man. Penn State Wilkesboro will not be denied in the paint. And they made up the decision that that is where this game will be decided. That's another big stat discrepancy for uh, Southern Maine. Um, rebounds. Penn State Wilkesboro with 36 rebounds to Southern Maine's 19. Mm. Interesting, interesting to say the least. It's the and one free throw. Push the lead back up to 21. With a little over 10 minutes to go in the second half. Penn State up to shooting 52% from the field right now. Savage with the ball screen into a player action. Nothing there, though. Now Savage looking. And that's a long three. Just off by Julius Silva. Penn State taking their time once again, running their offense. Bubbles with the right, drive well, in. Call, and it's going to be a foul. Second foul on Julius Silva. That puts them in the bonus, and they're going to shoot more free throws. This is definitely the worst case scenario for Southern Maine. Now you're in the bonus already with 10 minutes left in the half. 
It's an uphill battle right now, like you like said. said. You're playing uphill from behind, meaning you're going to have to be aggressive to stay in it. Just not a good recipe for success right now. And Williams knocks down the free throw, putting the lead back to 22. Two for two from the line from Wilkins. Ten minutes left in this game. 23-point lead. Back Trying door. to get the back door cut. Not there. Thomas now with the float with the left hand. And Thompson just a little off. Rebound by Holly. Up ahead to Wilkins. Wilkins attacking the transition. Pushing the break once again. Oh, man. Great rebound. Another rebound. By Jebediah. Now they're taking their time. How did that going to be a foul. Oh, what's the call? Oh, wow. What did he call? I couldn't catch it. Called an offensive. Oh, wow. Interesting oh, call, man. referee. I, hey, you see it, I don't. That's what I'm going to say, baby. I thought Julius Silva was grabbing him, to be Definitely honest. Definitely looked like it from my angle. But, hey, I don't have the best angle. <laughs> We're going to get a timeout here. We have ourselves a 30-second timeout, which means we get to bring you one of our sponsors, Richmond's Region Tourism. At the Region's primary marketer, Richmond Region's Tournament Tourism wor warmly welcomes meeting planners, tournament organizers, tour operators, travel media, and leisure travelers. A nonprofit organization, Richmond's Region Tourism, offers a comprehensive array of information and services to help the local hospitality industry benefit from the wonderful economic engine that is tourism. The USCA would like to thank Richmond Regions Tourism for hosting the 2024 National Basketball Championships. Without their support, this event would not be possible. Nine forty-two left in the game. Twenty-three point, twenty-three point lead still in effect for Penn State Wilkes Bear, and now they've gone to a one-three-one zone here. Interesting. Hey, they ain't been making shots anyway. And they have the size for it. Oh, Luke Briggs said, "I'm gonna put it up then." Luke Briggs said, "I'm emptying the clip, fellas. Whatever happens, happens." Tough pass from Very Adam. Very tough Adam. pass. Briggs with the hustle play though, and we're gonna have a jump ball. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting uh, defensive call from Penn State Wilkes Bear to go to that 1 3 1 zone. Definitely throwing off the rhythm. Forces them to reverse the ball, swing it, kind of burn some clock. And Southern Maine have been making jump shots throughout this whole entire game, so I'm not mad at it. Looks like they're debating the call here. And it's going to be whooped. Wilkes Bear ball, I believe, after the jump ball. Yep. And a little full court pressure here by Southern Maine, and they're just gonna get them long. Touchdown. We're playing basketball or football right now, Brian. That was a hell of a pass. Hey man. All I'ma say is I don't think Brock Purdy could have threw that. <laughs> good ball Ooh, good there. Look. That might have been the cleanest off offensive possession they've gotten all day. Easily. Great layup by Jay Hawks. I apologize to 49ers fans. I know it still hurts. <laughs> and Ballard just forcing the paint at will. Just forcing the action, telling them y'all can't guard him with his actions. <laughs> can you blame? Uh, can you blame Penn State uh, Wilkesbury though? No one can stay in front of the ball right now. Everyone's crossing the free throw line at will. I'm oh, Penn State Wilkesbury is doing what every coach dreams of when they know they have a mismatch. Because one thousand percent. You can speak to this from a coach perspective. There's nothing worse than knowing you have a team that's physically more gifted, more athletic, has much stronger size, and then watch your team come out and shoot nothing but jump shots. I've been on both sides of it. 
And as we wait here to see what the referees are discussing, trying to figure out exactly what, because we're in the double bonus. It's two shots either way, yeah, fellas. two shots like, either way. Send the man to the line already. But I understand. Got to make sure we communicate effectively. And Ballard misses the first. 35-58. And time is definitely getting to a point of running short for Southern Maine here. They're going to have to make a run very soon if they want to make a game out of this. Ooh, both free throws off from Rashad Ballard. Now Thomas pushing in transition to lefty, taking his time. Oh, careless pass. Very careless. And now, once again, Southern Maine's frustration is definitely starting to kick in a little bit. Jalen Willis controlling the tempo. Great skip pass. Move to the paint. And mm. once again, to the basket at will. That's been the theme of the, this game, hasn't it? To the basket, to the basket, to the basket. Hey, you <laughs> don't fix what ain't broke, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for a little side screen action. Thomas down, looking to operate. To the basket, left hand. It's a great take. And, and one. one. By Thomas Marantani, fouled by your man, Jebediah Ashton. Now, all I'm going to say, Jebediah Ashton has had a really good game this far. He has. All I'm going to say is, your parents definitely went to church if your name is Jebediah. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm saying. Definitely probably grew up in the church with that type of name. Thomas, great take. Looking to finish off the and one. He and does. Nothing but not lost for Thomas. And we're have another timeout. And it's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back after that. We're back to play. Oh, inbounding. A lot of pressure from Southern Maine early. Oh. And Ballard said, mm, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> back under Handled control. Handled very well. Ballard controlling tempo once again. Penn State taking their time. Open. Ooh. Taking his time. Hawks trying to apply pressure. And Holly gets Ooh. it on the roll. Good step move. through. Just couldn't finish, though. Savage pushing in transition. Has oh, mishandles He's it. just been off all game. Mishandles it. I don't think I would want him pushing my break, though. And Tequan Holly finishes easy up ahead on the break. Once again, turnover leading to easy buckets. Julia Silva now coming to set up the offense. And Hawks with a great, great take. Great turn the corner. To the basket. Ballard once again initiating the offense. Ballard has been doing a great job this game, controlling pace. Absolutely. So he's 
been able to beat the initial defender pretty much every time he feels like it. Handles pressure well as Jedediah. He loves that pull-up, doesn't he? Hey, I must make an apology. I've been calling I've been calling Jedediah Jebediah all game. I apologize. I stand by my original statement. With a name like that, he not only went to church on Sundays, he definitely went to Wednesday night Bible class. <laughs> But he is having a very having solid a game. game so far. Has he missed today? Oh, uh, that's a great question. We can find out. He is five of six, so okay. hasn't missed a lot. Up top, once again, looking like they're looking for Jedi again. This time he doesn't touch it. Willis. Oh, he's open. Get, finally gives it to him. Gives it to him again. Nice footwork. Step through. Rip through. And he's gonna get the call. Wow. There's nothing they can do with him down there. Nothing. He is giving them problems down there. That foul makes the fourth on Savage. Yeah, Savage said definitely just had a rough go of it today. Like I said, a lot of foul troubles, a lot of turnovers. Said four to be exact. Like I said, definitely just struggling. 0 for 7 from the field. Yikes. It's just not your game or not his game at the moment. Looks like Savage came out the game for Randy Vasquez. Let's go, let's go. And nothing but net for Jedediah. Thomas now coming to set up the offense. Vasquez now trying to work on the block. Trying Case to answer back. Jumps out of his own. No good. Just rebound. Sequan. It. Nope. Oh. No foul call. Luke Briggs. Luke Briggs with the hustle. Luke Briggs hustling. Fighting, and we're going to get another timeout on the loose ball recovery. And that leads us to another word from our sponsors. And this sponsor I love because he's a good friend of mine. We've been, been together for a long time. Wilson! <laughs> Wilson is the official ball of the USCA Small college national championships with over 100 years of experience in the industry they are one of the top ball suppliers in the game providing the official ball for the nfl nba wnba and ncaa soccer with brands like Atec, De demarini there we go evo shield leo <laughs> louisville <laughs> slugger under their umbrella you are sure to find everything you need to compete at the highest level in your chosen sport for more information please head to their website at www.wilson.com We're back. Baseline out of bounds here. Once that looks oh. like it's about to be at a close to a five-second count, but barely gets it in to Jay Hall. Just gets it in. Comes up the stack. Oh, ooh. man. Gets. Oh. Ooh. And the foul call. A little bit late. Wilvis doesn't think it's a foul call. I don't think so either. But he's going to get three free throws. It was hard to tell from this angle. I'm not going to lie. Definitely did look like all ball a little bit. But, hey, it happens. And Luke will be the beneficiary of three free throws. Makes the first. And he knocks down the first. 41-66. Two for two. And this is the third. Three. So 66 42, 5 44 left in the ball game. Adam Ballard will once again be setting up the defense. I love Rashad Ballard's handle. Absolutely. Really getting where he wants with it. And just taking his time, controlling the game. Pull up three. Bang. Wee. That's tough by Very Ballard. Tough. 
I don't think Thomas uh, Martinotti, I don't think that's the best um, defensive assignment for him right now. I don't know if there's a better one, to be honest with you, on this floor. Ooh, Great another block, block by Jedediah. And that's kind of just been how this game has gone, even when even when Southern Maine's been able to create good advantages and good attack angles. That hasn't another really mattered. three. Oh, Ballard trying to put the nail in trying the coffin. Trying to put the dagger in him. Thomas and Luke, they're pushing the pace now. Oh, ooh. ooh, what a move! Luke. And Briggs, what a good ooh. step through. Tony Parker esque. A little bit. A little Tony and Manu mixed in there. Okay. Whoa, almost got the trap on the sideline. Jedediah now taking his time, ripping through. Ooh. Tries to explode. Strong take, basket. no Couldn't call. Finish. So the main push pace again. Trying to push. Got through. Got to make a quick decision. Good attack on the catch by Hawks and just couldn't finish. Saad just disrupting that shot. We're going to get a jump ball here with 412 left. Ah. In the story of the game, and looks Penn like State Wilkes-Barre just interrupting every layup for Southern Maine right now. Looks like Southern Maine is kind of clearing their bench a little bit. Seems like they're kind of just... Waving the white flag? Maybe just a little bit. Like I said, 4-12 left, 69-44. Coach might be saying, hey, guys, here's your opportunity to get some run. That's number two, Cole poking in. Good rebound by Cole. Ah, nowhere Cole. to go, though. We do not jump pass. At least the turnovers like that one. Rashard with the easy layup in transition. Ballard is having himself a day. 17 points on the night. Step back. Ooh, I'm not mad at it. Just off by Zach Oliver. And once again, Good pushing shot. the transition. Drive kick. Jedediah with a big board over three white jerseys. Man child down there, isn't he? Hey. Looks like it today. Now with Southern Maine kind of waving the white flag, you wonder if Penn State will at some point still seem to have their guys in the game. We have another timeout here. It's going to be another full timeout. Technical difficulties, but we're live. Fox 5. Back to the action. 49 73. Penn State Wilkes Bear. Looks like both teams have emptied their bench. Oh, strong kick out. And nothing but net for Elijah Perez on the kick out. 76 49 here. One minute left in the ball game. Oh, both teams. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to get saucy. 
by Cole poking it and strong take by Biago Crossley Biagio Crossley Fifty one seconds left in the game, seventy eight forty nine. Both teams are clearing the bench and both teams are letting the benches go to work, letting them hear it. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, a lot of positive energy from both teams right now. Well, I'll say one team. No, Southern Maine, like I said, they're cheering their guys on. They are. They are. They're involved in the game. Like I said, I don't think they're happy with the result, but they're definitely going hard. And Has he three from range. Andrew St. Hilaire. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> oh, oh, good That's take. A move. Biagio. Biagio and one again. Biagio. I like that name. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say it one more time. Biagio. <laughs> Sounds Italian, don't you think? A little bit. I was more so thinking Miyagi, though. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. And now he's going to the line for the and oh. one. Couldn't finish it, though. 34 seconds left in this game. Southern Maine pushing the transition. Oh, might have got away with travel there. And a three is just oh. off by Andrew Quinn. Elijah Perez going to dribble this one out. Looks like we have a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. It's going to be 80 49. For Penn State, Wilkes Bear. We're going to be back with a small interview from the coach of Penn State and the player of the game, Adam Ballard. Our apologies, Rashad Ballard. Rashad Ballard. I keep saying Adam, I don't know why. 